Welcome back to Be Bold Games. Today we're going to talk more about sabotage. In our last video, we went over the basics of sabotage. In this video, we're going to do a deeper dive into advanced abilities and mechanics that make the game even more interesting. We highly recommend playing an intro game before playing with the full characters and advanced abilities. There are multiple tiers of advanced abilities that are unlocked throughout the game. Here's how to unlock and use them. Each character starts with their basic abilities, but may unlock advanced abilities throughout the game. Advanced abilities come in tiers and must be unlocked in tier order. For example, a player must unlock a tier 1 ability before the ability to unlock a tier 2. Each character's tier 2 and 3 abilities provide a choice of two abilities. A player cannot unlock both abilities on a given tier. They must choose which ability to unlock when they unlock that specific tier. Each advanced ability shows an unlock cost under the unlock coin, and that is paid for in either intel or dice. Abilities can be unlocked over several turns. To partially unlock an ability, mark out the paid cost icon on the character sheet. Once all icons are marked, the ability is immediately available to use. Each ability only needs to be unlocked once. However, you must still pay the ability requirement in the program to activate it. Stun. When you are stunned, you can only use one dice on the following turn. Build. When you build, you place a gadget on the board on the same tile that you're in. Some builds have to be declared. Others do not. Shot patterns. On different abilities, you'll see a pattern of how an ability will affect the board. In the diagram, you are the star icon. The shot can be directed in any direction, up, down, left, or right. Now, let's go over some of those abilities and I'll show you how they work. Thermo. The Thermo ability requires a sum 8 to use it. It allows the player to scan any row, column, or quadrant on their turn, but they don't move. This is a powerful tool for bluffing. The spy could hack and then Thermo to make it look like she stepped off, but stayed there to hack again the next turn. Motion detectors. This allows a villain to choose a row, column, or quadrant and the spies must say how many spies are in that room. This can be used to counter Thermo and get information where your flashlight can't reach. Now I want to give you some advanced advice and tips. Tracking spies. To effectively track spies, the villains need to listen closely to which scans and earpieces each spy is doing and in what order. It's recommended to use markers on the map on all the rooms a spy could be in. Make sure to update this for each new scan you receive. Also keep different tokens for each spy to not get them confused. Knowing that the villains are listening closely to every action, you need to be smart about how you use your tools as a spy. If you want to lay low, maybe scan the same area multiple times. Make sure to move or earpiece away from any hack location, or you could get shot pretty quickly. Pay attention to the dice. Take note of what dice the enemy team needs to perform their actions. This can help you plan by knowing what they might and might not be able to do this turn. But always remember, they can use modify to change their dice but they do have a very limited amount. Before the game, make sure to look at a copy of the enemy character's sheet. Knowing what abilities they might unlock is very important. This is public information, as is the character that the player chose at the start of the game. You can choose the map layout by teams taking turns placing map elements, walls, generators, and doomsday devices. Each turn, the team chooses a wall, generator, or doomsday device and places it into a valid location on the board. Generators and doomsday devices cannot be in the same or adjacent rooms from each other unless separated by a wall. So that should give you a few tips and tricks about how the game functions, and hopefully it will help you achieve victory against your opponents, whoever they may be. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Be bold, play games, be you. Happy gaming!